Not even 10 days have passed since the official launch of the EU's digital travel certificate, and already criminal organizations are offering to sell fake certificates. In Italy, the police seized control of 10 channels on the encrypted messaging service Telegram, linked to anonymous accounts on marketplaces in the so-called dark web, through which it was possible to contact the sellers, who required payment in cryptocurrency. Such listings may be actual offers, but also attempts to scam people. Uh, through the internet and through these, uh, these channels, you can sell things uh, everywhere in the world. What, what was nice is that uh, uh, in the offer was, uh, was, uh, was said that uh, uh, these, pass these fake passports and maybe these vaccines were available not only in Europe, but also in Europe and uh, in other countries, as an example, in Switzerland, in UK, in the US. Uh, also, I found, we found uh, New Zealand and, and faraway countries. Prices ranged from 100 to 150 euros, depending on the package. Some offers even included a vial of vaccine with the certificate. Around 250,000 users had registered, and 100 had tried to interact with the sellers, with some buyers coming from outside the EU. These also provide uh, big responsibilities for people who is selling this, but also for people who is uh, trying to use these fake certifications. Europol, the EU's law enforcement agency, says that criminals have proven to be very adaptive during the pandemic, previously faking COVID-19 test certificates too. Europol is also supporting law enforcement authorities across the continent to combat coronavirus-related crimes in high-profile operations, including a number of actions targeting cybercriminals, counterfeiters and scammers. It says too that given the widespread technological means available in the form of high-quality printers and different software, fraudsters are now able to produce high-quality fake documents. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.